You can get food at any time of day or night in Little India in Singapore. Tonight on Mako's Macan Adventure, we're stopping off in Little India for some Indian snacks and tea. <laughs> Welcome to Mako's Macan Adventure. We are here today for some late night Indian cup of tea and snacks at a Tekka Tea Corner on Upper World Road in Little India. It's absolutely buzzing here. You can see people are everywhere. It's noisy, it's loud, it's busy. And let's give it a go. Let's see what we've got. So first off, we've got a cup of cha or a cup of tea, Indian tea, and now it's been made behind. Usually a blend of tea, spices, and milk all boiled together, usually tea leaves as well. And we've got a few Indian snacks here. So we've got the vadi, we've got something that I've been told is a banana dish, and we've got here cake. I don't know what cake it is. I, uh, but I've been told it's a cake. So we'll give that a go as well. And to accompany these, we've got our sauces. The sauces, as we can see, the, they look like the same type ones that we would have for Italy or for uh, uh, a docile. So yeah, let's dig in. First off, we'll grab a cup of tea. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of a skin on it. Skin on it. So there's a bit of a skin on it where it's been boiled up and you know it's all started to separate, the milk solids and everything else. And also the bubbles on top because when it gets poured, it gets poured from a great height to almost aerate it. Let's give it a go. Oh, and that, that's sweet. And uh, it's really hot where it's been boiled up. Oh, sweet silky a little bit thick where that milk has been boiled up and reduced off somehow somewhat now let's go in for some of these snacks then so we got first i'm gonna give the baddie a go so this looks like the flavor it looks like a plain baddie with just some um leaves inside maybe some spring onion or the like and of course the obligatory we can see almost like a minefield in there the obligatory peppercorn just fires it up every now and then Mm. So as you bite in, it's crispy where it's been deep fried, doughy in the middle, it's got that doughy ready texture and there is that uh, herby seasoning inside and of course then when you bite into one of the peppercorns it's like a bit of an explosion as it goes off. Let's give it a little dip now, see how, see how it comes together with uh, the white gravy or the white sauce. Mm. So that white sauce has got a nice coconut here, I mean it's quite coarse in this and quite liquidy elsewhere. It's got a nice coconutty here and, and a little bit of spice as well. I don't know if that's coming through from ginger as opposed to chilli though, but yeah, delicious. Mm. So let's let's give this one a go. Grab a, grab a drink first. Let's give this one. Let's give this one a go. I don't really know what it is. I'm going to break into it first so we can have a look. And as I break in, oh, I can see it looks like maybe fennel seeds inside and a, a cut of banana. I think. Doesn't smell of anything. So it's not a sweet dish. It's not like a banana dessert as you might think. No, no, banana has been used almost as a vegetable and, and such. Surrounding it though, I don't know what this is. It's a bit soft. It's fried, I can tell it's fried from the colour of my fingers or at least the uh, the shimmer that's coming off. But 
almost a soft batter that's been lightly, lightly uh, seasoned. Lightly seasoned, not too much in the way of spices or herbs. I think the red is more a colouring than anything else. Mm. It's nice enough. Let's, let's, let's give it a dip in one of the sauces. Mm. And when you add, wow, that's got a kick. That's got a kick. When you add, when you put a bit of sauce on it, it comes to life, it really does. And so this almost carries it somewhat. Nice soft batter, a little bit of banana in the middle. And then you've got your little bit of chili there. Mm. And yeah, that's got a kick. Now I suppose, let's give the cake a go. Because tea and cake, best friends, they go great together. So let's see how it goes. So I break in, I can see it, it's almost like a rock cake. It's very hard, a little bit soft inside, but I think it's mainly a hard, slightly crumbly cake. Let's give it a go. So it's almost biscuity. It's almost like a biscuit, it's got a cross between a cake and a biscuit. Not really any flavours coming through, it's just more sweetness, like a sweet cakey biscuit dough. Mm. Nice and sweet, and as always, it's good to have a cake with a cup of tea. But then there's sugar there, there's sugar there, it really goes up. Let's dip it into the sauce and of course I'm not going to dip it into the sauce, see how it goes. Chilli sauce on cake? I don't think so. Upper World Street in Little India. Little India is buzzing every night. Every night there is something going on. There is there's always people going about, whether it's people working, people eating, people drinking, lots of noise, lots going on. But this particular place, the Tekka Tea Corner, has got a great vantage point. So you can stop off, have a cup of tea, have a snack if you fancy it, and just watch the world go by. The plate that we had there with the cup of tea, the char, and the sweet, two savouries of the diet, and the uh, banana uh, in batter, 10 to four dollars. Absolute bargain, really. But what you're getting is you're getting this vantage point to watch the world go by, to feel a part of what's going on. And you know what? That's an experience in itself. So maybe you should go check it out at some point. The Tekka Tea Corner in Little India on Upper Weld Street. Have a look here. I'll have a look here for other content on the channel. Thanks a lot.